we make uh, custom drums and drumsticks here and uh, most of the custom drums are these reproduction rope tension drums and so a lot of concert bass drums and uh, the drumsticks are all custom made and we also fix drums mostly for uh, collectors and historians we repair some very old drums and uh, I have a helper here Bert we, we like to come here and just take our time and work on these things a lot of these drums especially the older ones that we fix up have great stories and uh, we have respect for you know all the use that they've been through they're coming out of being played in wars you know the civil war and they were used to pass uh, signals to the troops and uh, uh, there's just always great stories with these old drums so um, it's a good place to work and uh, we, we both do it kind of in our spare time. My full-time job is playing principal percussion in the Pittsburgh Symphony. And I'm very fortunate that I get to do that. I love that work. I love to play and perform. But that's my, that's my main job. So, um, you know, with rehearsals and concerts, you know, all throughout the year and practicing. Um, I teach at Duquesne University also. And i um, been teaching there for about 20 years now in the music school. These drums, um, two of them that are complete near me here, um, are called rope tension drums and they are the way that drums used to be put together before the advent of so much metal work and now modern drums have metal parts on them for tensioning the heads but this is the way they used to be done here. These have calfskin heads on them and obviously all the rope and these are made of leather and this is all hand painted with the emblazonment of uh, the United States on here and this is obviously the USS Constitution that we painted on this drum um, and to tension these drums uh, nowadays you just take a little key and you turn the little screws around the top of the drum and the heads will get tighter but to tension these type drums a player would do this to these leather ears you pull this down all the way around and the head would get tighter I can even show you how the sound will change here here it's pretty loose and as I start to pull these ears down you can hear the tension starting to get higher and that's not even quite ready to play yet but that's how these drums get uh, tighter you know when it's time to play them I have a machine to bend a piece of wood a flat piece of wood uh, it's, it uses heat uh, to bend and I can form it into the drum shell and then I have um, hundreds of clamps to clamp the shell and add reinforcement rings and things like that. You know, all these drums up around me and all the upper shelves here, uh, some of them are ones that my father made, some are ones that I made, some are ones that are in a queue waiting to be fixed. Uh, it's important for me to continue this business because I, I can actually trace it back to 1859. I'm continuing what my father did for uh, 30, 40 years and I'm sending them all over the world.